Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. If you're new here, I am a travel lifestyle vlogger here to share with you all our humble experience traveling smart. true hidden gem. John didn't want me sharing with you guys so we can just have it all to ourselves. But how can I not share with you? You are the most special people to me on the internet and I want you to have the best to save the money that you wish to save and to just experience the authentic Hawaiian feeling. Okay. If this is your first time traveling to Hawaii, you are in luck because that is literally the most beautiful place in America. If this is not your first time traveling to Hawaii, then you must have noticed that the Airbnb lodging accommodations have a lot of hidden fees. So for those of you who know me, you know I'm all about the savings, um, the cheap Asian in me, and the value of course. And whenever I book a trip, I always look across the internet like on Expedia, Banks Travel Center, mm -hmm. your travel agents, sure, and the hotel's own website. And in this video, I'm also going to introduce you to something new if you are a user of T-Mobile. First things first, whenever I plan a trip, I always give us a budget in each category, and in this case, our lodging, I do not want to spend more than $130 a night. So if you know the pricing in Hawaii, you probably know that it's quite a challenging target to hit. But if you're interested in how I achieve that, then keep on watching. So when I started looking at the place to stay in Waikiki, the first thing I noticed is that every accommodation and apartments charge you resort fees. <gasps> what? Then it dawned on me. Why am I paying for the pool while we're planning to go to the beach every day? Why do I need to pay $20 to $40 extra for something that we're probably not even going to use? And after many, many days of searching, it was on a fine Tuesday. If you have T-Mobile, you know what goes down on a Tuesday. I finally click on the promo they always had. Save over 40% on travel accommodations. Scrolling through the feed, looking at similar prices and the same length photos, Waikiki Central Hotel passed the corner of my eye. No resort fees? I almost jumped out of my chair. I clicked on the listing immediately and they weren't joking. I read through the reviews and the details where everything looked normal. Right after I got my confirmation email, T-Mobile sent another email to suggest that we upgrade to a private bathroom. I was able to reach them the next day to confirm that our booking includes a private bath and a private lanai. Apparently, it's an odd error from T-Mobile booking website. Now, you're probably wondering if the place turned out to be a total slump. I was too very much concerned about the price that we pay and the things that we get. But it's not until we actually checked into the place. Hello everybody! So the place is about a two minute walk from the infamous Waikiki beach with palm trees, white sand, and cocktails at your fingertips. The building itself has six stories, with the first story being the receptionist and the parking area. We booked a queen room with balcony. We paid $310 for three nights of stay. No other additional fees. Now before we move into the amenities and what's so great about this place, I want to do a small comparison between some of the affordable places to stay in Waikiki. Nerdy Michelle. First property, our control has a nightly rate around $120. Second property, which is the Aloha Aqua Hotel with the cheapest nightly rate across the internet, charges you about $85 a night. Third hotel is kind of on the luxurious side because it does have a 
cool it is new up and coming it's tailored for chic people like you and i we want everything aesthetic that one has a nightly rate around 120 dollars more or less the same as the waikiki central so as I was doing the research for you guys, I put in the travel dates and Waikiki Central come up to be $410 for three nights. The Aloha Aqua Hotel come up to be $561 for three nights. Lakua will cost you $526 for three nights. Now, how does that make sense? How does the cheapest hotel with the cheapest lowest nightly rate cost you more than all three of these? It doesn't, doesn't make any sense. sense. Without the resort fees, Waikiki Central Hotel came out to be the best deal out of the three hotels we've talked about. Best of all, you can spend the $100 on some other local cuisine, support local businesses, then paying the hotel for some accommodations that you probably won't even need. Now, if the price doesn't convince you to travel and book with Waikiki Central, here are the three things I really want to share with you. The people, the location, and then the aloha. When we first checked in, John immediately befriended Will, our um, dear receptionist at the Waikiki Central Hotel. This is my dear friend Will. He How's is it? from Hawaii. He is one of the best person I've met here. And he is very cool. As you can see, he has three names. His name is Ruby, Will, and Reese. Oh. <laughs> Aloha, guys. I'm from the island of Oahu. Um, we call it Hawaii, not Hawaii. Oh, um, I said it down. completely wrong. I'm down. If you guys like meet me, it's all good. I'm uh, kind of on the fluffier side, so I keep you warm even though in this hot climate. So yeah, I'm pretty warm right now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe, and booty. Booty. <laughs> We don't ask for a lot when we travel, but the real authentic feeling is what we really treasure the most. Thank you, Will. You made our trip just like so much better. And then they really don't need a pool to help you make the decision to stay with them because they're literally two minutes walk away from the sandy beach. They are also very close to a centralized bus stop on Kuhio Street. We did not get a car for the days that we stayed there, so we took the bus and we walked around. Honestly, you don't really need a car unless you're trying to travel around the island. You can get to the beach, the mall, and Diamond Head just by walking and taking the bus. The property does charge nightly fees for parking if you do wish to park at their premise. Little downside about their location is the building is tiny. It's short. It's only six floors and it's located right behind the Hyatt. <laughs> Which the Hyatt people get the view and our view is just the street. We're as close as the street as you can imagine and we get to check out the car rentals and how crazy people are just trying to rent all kinds of weird vehicles on the island. We got a corner room, little seating area, some microwave, safe, mini fridge, it's here, and we have a coffee maker, plates, cups, little nice stand, a cute wall decor, John chilling, um, the bed's really comfortable, black hole curtain, completely dark. Chairs, table, chairs. Two blocks over there is the beach. That's the Hyatt. <laughs> We're right behind the Hyatt. Right here, we have a three quarter bath. Very new. This one, toilet, towels, mirror, thumb, soap. I even have cotton rounds for my own. But I have my own. Cotton sponge, so I'm not going to use that. And we do have a small closet space. I think this is a fairly good space. A uh, little less than 400 square feet, like a garage. And we have a nice bathroom, a nice queen size bed, <laughs> AC that works perfectly. But it was noisy in general because people down the streets are like cheering over the night. Screaming. They were screaming over the night. 
and because they just recently went through a renovation so everything is still fresh you can go to the counter and ask for fresh coffee every day don't tell anybody a hundred out of ten will recommend and we're definitely gonna come back hi will <laughs> and if you stay until the end of this video this is a cherry on top that i will always give you at the end of this video did i mention you can also borrow their body boards their umbrellas and then their floaties and even just like giant beach towels whatever they have you can borrow for free so if you guys find this video to be helpful and that it helps you decide on where to stay in Waikiki, Hawaii, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because that will really help out my channel and then help more people discover this great deal. Okay, and subscribe for more future content. I'm so happy that you joined us today. I will see you guys on the next one.